Hey everyone, Plant Assassin here. And I was walking along the Greenbelt in Julia Davis Park and I noticed this flower, which I immediately recognized as being some species of nightshade. And see, it's got a purple flower with a yellow stem there and it is connected to this vine that has a bunch of berries on it. So this is Bittersweet Nightshade. You can see the berries look like little, almost like little tomatoes. And here's some of the green berries here. This is the immature berry. And you see how they branch off and they grow on the branch. But this is a poisonous species that is toxic if you eat too many of them. The different some of the books say they're okay in small quantities. Other ones of the books that I've consulted say you shouldn't eat them in any quantity. So, you know, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. Because I'm not eating them when it comes to nightshade. I'm pretty cautious. So, I also see that there's white flowers on the vine. So when the flower gets older it turns white right before the fruits start to form the petals will fall off and then the bud at the end of the flower will begin to swell and it will form the fruit and you can see that one of the that different stages of fruit here it's also called a climbing nightshade you can see that it's growing over this bush here. And this particular specimen looks like it's about 10 or 15 feet in length. So this is a non-native species. It's not even native to North America, much less Idaho. And it's listed as a noxious weed in several states. But in Idaho, it's not a very aggressive weed, and it's uh, somewhat uncommon. So I found another vine on the green belt, but you don't see them too often. Usually they are in shaded areas that are moist and have plenty of water. So it is a attractive vine that uh, birds are drawn to. So birds are the primary vector of seed dispersal in the United States. So I don't know of any mammals that eat the, eat the fruits. So, and then you can see the, uh, there's one of the leaves. And then when they get a little more mature, they're larger. And then eventually they these little buds here at the bottom just form into one teardrop shaped leaf. So there it is. Bitter Nightshade, or excuse me, Bittersweet Nightshade, also Climbing Nightshade. It's pretty hard to mistake this plant for anything else. Now this is a plant assassin. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful.